Hey Dana. Hey YouTube family. What are y'all up to? Boy, I have missed you. Sorry it's been a while since I've been on, but things have been busy. There have been a few changes in life and um, since the health has seemed to improve, I have decided to go ahead and turn on the heat and start trying to get those bills under control. Um, so I took on another job. <laughs> I'm back at Walmart. If you all don't remember, I have worked at Walmart for a while. Um, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video, and especially is not about my messy garage, but I have to show you what I have been up to lately. Um, because I wanted to figure out what am I going to do this year. Last year, I brought in all the plants. You can probably see it in one of my first videos where I took you around in my garage and showed you <laughs> all the plants. And I thought this year, I'm, I had such beautiful plants out on my back porch. I just didn't want to lose them. So I thought, well, maybe I can put them to my night. In the garage I don't know it's not been freezing yet and I see that they're kind of falling and going to sleep on me but I'll show you the setup that I have so no judgment real life here here we go so Dana I've been telling you about this shelf I bought this shelf this five obviously five rack metal shelf um, that I decided to go ahead and raise this original, this original uh, piece of wood, I have raised four or five different times and put it different levels. But I decided that it would be best to su be supported on top of this really heavy duty uh, wire, um, yeah, metal shelf, yeah, metal shelf that I found at Walmart on clearance. So anyway. These are some of the plants that came in from outdoors, and you will probably recognize some of them. I see my little succulent up here. She's not doing very good. I think I need to give her some water. Um, looks like they're the flowers. The green seems to still be okay, uh, but not too sure. That's my beautiful tropical plant that I was so proud of. And I hope she stays alive. Through the winter stay alive baby i'm gonna send her good vibes and then this one was such a beautiful plant she did so good i think i paid four dollars for her and she was as little as this little one and she grew into this big beautiful beautiful plant um let's see here so this is from last year so <laughs> this poor little crusty ivy i'm do desperately trying to keep alive. I've got to water her because she's obviously in severe need. Here's my other two-year-old baby. We're going to say that they're going to last for two years. I originally had some, um, no, petunias around it and it was looking really, really good uh, most of the summer, but eh, she'll do what she'll do. I've got, look at this succulent, Dana. Look at this. It's got a baby. Can you see the baby? There's a little baby here. And I think I saw some there. This poor little succulent, I took all of those tips off of. And for all of you unsucculent people like me, if you take these leaves... And do like Dana says, put it in the dirt and say, grow, baby, grow. It'll grow you another one. Just like this little baby here. See that little baby sprouting? That will root down below and then it'll come back up and it'll have a little flower. Just like that. Okay, here's my feather plant. She's not so feathery right now. But I'm keeping a hold of her because she lasted through last winter and went completely brown 
and I thought she was completely dead. And I took her outside in the springtime and she sprouted one little green like this, only one. And they came back and grew beautiful. So I have some more succulents here. Um, and then I have Fernetta. I'm gonna try to keep this Fernetta growing over the winter. We'll see. She's looking a little shabby. We're gonna have to give her a haircut. But I'll take you outside so we can see an update on the portalacas. Excuse my trash cans. Portalacas are still doing okay. Looks like they're getting ready to completely go night night. Um, they've got lots and lots of little pods that are let's see if i can get the right frame so you can see lots and lots of little pods there that if i just spend some time picking those off and get little seeds like this let's see if this one has any nope i don't see any there oh here they are let's see if you can see this see how that little pod had all those little seeds and they look like pepper and if you collect those you will have a whole bunch of pretty ones so the girls decided they wanted to buy some pumpkins so this is what our our pumpkin patch looks like and then oh my poor little dollar mom I need to give you some water don't I baby so we're gonna give her some water let's go over here let's give her some water shall we just a little. She was, she was trying to make her happy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to not pay attention to you. But if this mom makes it, Mama going to be so proud of you. I'm going to be so proud. Yeah. So, I've got my raspberries. They're completely gone. You see that? I don't know what to do. I know I'm shaky. Give me just a second. This is the last, that is the last of my raspberry bushes. I had one there and one up there, and that's it. That's very sad. That's a very sad thing. But what can you do? So what do I have here? I have another succulent that I completely mutilated, and it is coming back in full force. Look at all those little flowerets that are coming right back up. And they're so little. They're very tiny. There's my fingertip. And you can see how little they are. They are precious. We got little ones that look like they're growing on top of other ones. They're precious. So I just, uh, I just, I don't know. You you can't go wrong with succulents. There's something there. Dana, you're on to something, girl. So I have my other... I can't believe this Vinca has survived. Let me show you. This has been out in the breathing weather. We have been... Let's see. We have been in... What, Dana? Probably the... Well, 30s. 30s. And this little portalaca is still going. And look at this vinca. I'm gonna have to bring her in. She looks sick. She, you know, she's got some sickies there. But this portalaca is very sparing on her seeds. She is very picky. She will only tell me every so often, yes, I'll give you a seed. So most of the time, this type of portalaca, I don't know if you can see the difference in the leaves, but the leaves are different. Um, most of the time, I can find her if those pods look like this. Let me see if I can turn it. If the pod looks like that, I'll be able to get some seed out of that one. So we're going to go ahead and take it while it's 
ready to give it. Let's see, it looks like that. It's just very small. Oh. Very small and very precious, but very, very giving. Look at the close ups of all of my baby portalacas. Aren't they beautiful? Cue the Zen music. <laughs> I feel like Sophia from My Great Challenge. I give you a, a beautiful musical tour. Do, 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 do. Of my beautiful flowers, but I can't help it. There's something about seeing seeing flowers that has been very good for my soul this year. Speaking all of the with the health issues and getting back to feeling like a normal person again. Um it has definitely been a journey. But Dana and I have been hard at work. I know it seems we're very quiet right now, but we have been hard at work trying to um, come up with some more content. And we are going to have some soon. Um, yeah, now that, now that I've got a little extra paycheck coming in, I think I'm going to start trying to do some more cash envelopes challenges so if you have any ideas or things that you want me to do um, and want Dana to do give us some ideas down below don't forget to visit Dana she is the idle.homestead on YouTube that's I-D-L-E dot homestead and I'm going to leave you with a view of my very empty sparse patio now that all of the babies have gone night night the last few things that i have are these sweet little pansies here and my absolute favorite plant this is i do not know the pr correct pronunciation kalanosh i think but this was a gift from my new boss at my new job and it has the most sweet little flowers so this one had a like a little baby pink it had kind of a magenta pink on it and then it had these bright they were bright yellow flowers and they're all going away but hopefully we'll be able to keep it over the winter and then bring this baby back out. I haven't even thought of a name for her, so if you think of one, let me know. Maybe I'll use your name. Alright, well, until next time, it's fall, y'all. Love you!